Yo, what's up guys? This is the What A Funk Stories vlog, and on this episode, I'm gonna tell you an actual What A Funk story. This episode is gonna be about how What A Funk got into its first store ever, and it hopefully gives you a little more insight about the What A Funk brand and how we became about how we are now. So, this story goes back to about 2011, so that's when we first got into our first store ever, and how we actually got into a store is interesting. Before that, we were really doing hand-to-hand -hand sales and a lot of pop-up shop stuff like that. But at one time, we decided, you know, it was always a personal goal of mine to get into a streetwear boutique in NYC because that's where I first learned about, you know, the streetwear community was walking around the city and going into stumbling into one of these stores. And that's how we first learned about this whole thing that inspired What A Funk to become an actual brand. So that was always one of my personal goals to do. So it goes back to 2011. And in 2011, we found out about the party scene in New York City. And before that, we would just go to random things. But then we found out about um, special events that were like kind of underground type events. You had to know about somebody who knows about something. So one night, my friend told me yo you got to go to this event um at yours truly his friend was catering it and he told me yo you got to go check it out my friend catering it does the craziest events and the coolest parties and it's something you really be interested in so i was like you know why not i'll go check it out see what it's about so we go down to yours truly in brooklyn we were hanging out and we were just meeting people and we met the hood chef so the hood chef was catering all these events in nyc brooklyn and stuff like that and he was catering this event so we met up with him hung out with him and became friends with him eventually and from that day forward that's the day that really set the brand into something else because before that day i was really dreading doing what a funk and i wasn't sure if i was still going to do what a funk until this day that I met the hood chef and he definitely inspired me to keep grinding and keep putting in the work to get where we wanted to be because unlike where we live <laughs> down there everybody wants to do something everybody wants to be somebody so being down there was really just inspiring to be around other people who were like-minded like ourselves so when I met the hood chef you know I told him about what a funk and told him about what I do and stuff like that and he told me about what he did and stuff like that and we just became friends and connected because we both were entrepreneurs and hustlers so that's how we became friends was back in that night so our intention was never to get into a store that night our intention was never to you know promote the brand before that i was really um bummed out about what a funk i wasn't sure what we wanted to do I knew I still wanted to be in the stores, but I was really starting to fade out and actually doing What A Funk, and I was really starting to be bummed out about doing it, and I wasn't inspired anymore, and everything just didn't feel like it was working out for me, so I wasn't sure if I still wanted to do it, but that night really turned things around, and that's why we went into full gear for the first time, real full gear, and then, you know, things have happened like that again since then, where, you know, things are slowing down, wasn't sure, but... That night really turned things around for What A Funk as a brand because that night we met Hood Chef and I told him my personal goal was to get into a store in the city. He said, you know, I'll talk to my friend who owns the store, yours truly. It was a streetwear boutique who sold mostly women's clothes and women's streetwear inspired clothing, but they also had some unisex pieces as well. And he said, you know, I'll talk to my friend Jenny, shout out to Jenny as well. And I'll tell her about your brand and you could go meet up with her, have a meeting and I'll set it up for you. So after that, he introduced me to her and I told her about more about what a funk and stuff. And then we eventually got to have a meeting with her where I brought some what a funk stuff with us to see if she'd be interested in carrying it. So the first what a funk piece to ever be into a store was the what a funk classic snapback. So she seen the snapbacks that we made and she decided that she really really loved them and she wanted to carry them in her store that was the first hat we've ever made as a brand and it's also the first hat that was ever in a store which is pretty 
pretty interesting that we still make hats and stuff like that and they're still into a lot of stores fast forward to now and now they're into a lot more stores so she picked up the classic snapbacks after our meeting and i still remember the day that we went in there and we showed her the pieces i remember the feeling of going in there and showing her the stuff and the feeling and excitement of getting our stuff into a store that was always one of my main personal goals to get into a store down there and i remember walking out of there and feeling excited i had a bunch of new energy ready to go and i thought all right this could really happen and we could really make this happen and it was just exciting to do so once we were able to do that you know it gave me a new new feeling and it made me want to make more stuff and design more things and stuff like that. So shout out to Jenny for giving our brand a chance to putting it into the store. And shout out to the Hood Chef for making the connection for us. Really appreciate that. So that was really, really exciting. And, you know, fast forward to now. We got our hats in Zoomies now, um, years and years later and never stopped hustling, never stopped wanting to do it, and just kept grinding ever since then to reach more goals and reach that feeling once again. So that's how we got to where we are now, but I just wanna give you guys a little insight about how we got into our first store ever. And after that, things started snowballing. She started picking up more pieces and we started getting to more stores down there and it just kept snowballing, meeting more and more people and doing more and more events and just connecting with a lot of different individuals who are in the field that we were in and interested into things that we were interested in. Also, another store that we first got into was Rich and Faded. So Rich and Faded was a sneaker store. Shout out to my man Rich. I'm still friends with him to this day as well. He was one of the first stores that I went into and told him about the brand. It was a sneaker store in Mount Kisco. You know, that was when the brand first started. I had and weren't the best designs ever I'll tell you that straight up because we were just starting and you know we were really young so he would never shut me down completely he would just you know tell me like give me little insights about what to do design wise and you know how to stay inspired and stuff and I used to just go down and hang out with him and he'd chop it up and then our stuff was in his store as well many many collections in his store so shout out to my man Rich holding us down and for inspiring us to keep grinding and keep hustling because that's what's really important is meeting these people who are on the same mindset and mind frame as you to keep you inspired and keep you hustling and keep you going. And it's always important to meet these people in your life that will do this for you and you will hopefully do it for them and hopefully do it for others. So I just wanna give you guys a little insight about the brand to get you guys more familiar about what we do and how we started and how we, you know, how we hustle to get where we are today. So for anybody who doesn't know, this has been a long, long process, a long journey, and we ain't done yet. This is just the beginning. This feels like the beginning all over again. So that's what's exciting and that's what keeps me motivated and keeps me personally ready to go and ready to grind every day because I need to achieve these goals and chasing that feeling that same feeling I got that day of getting our stuff into the first store ever. So even till this day now, I still get the same feeling whenever we get you know, a new order and whenever you guys buy stuff and whenever we get into new stores or get stuff into new stores like Zoomies or Dolls Kill and stuff like that and hopefully more stores in the future, I'm still chasing that feeling that I got that day in front of yours truly. I remember walking out of there and how it felt and I remember the exact day I don't remember the exact date but I remember how I felt the exact day and I remember exactly what happened I remember exactly walking out of there and I remember that feeling of oh crap like we got our stuff in stores now like this is legit now like even though it wasn't even that big of a crazy thing but it was a crazy thing for me because that was just one of my goals when starting the brand so I just want to let you guys know the story about that and i hope you guys are inspired i want to shout out to everybody who are watching the youtube videos i appreciate all your guys support as always without you guys there's no what a funk so just remember that 
and you guys are definitely a big part of the brand and that's why i'm telling you guys more about the stories behind it and if you guys like this story and want to hear more stories let me know let us know leave a comment if you guys got any questions about how to get your stuff into a store let us know leave a comment and we'll help you guys out however much we can you know but thank you guys thanks for watching thanks for inspiring us I hope you guys stay inspired. I hope you guys are motivated. And please don't forget to like the video and subscribe. We're trying to get our YouTube channel more subscribers. And we need it so we could have more options to do more things like go live and stuff like that. So thank you guys for watching. If you don't subscribe, please do it right now. Really appreciate you guys. Shout out to all my friends who held us down in the beginning. Shout out to all you guys who hold us down now. And... Thank you very much. Hope you guys are inspired. Peace.